What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and one question I get asked quite a bit on stream is what is my favourite kit to use and obviously Konami have added a load of new kits with the last V3.5 update. We're going to get into what our best are. Huge shout out to Kara for getting these clips together. Let's roll it. Alright lads, so we are going to focus on club kits essentially. Venezia are the first up, they've got some beautiful uniforms as you see here. They've only got a first and second kit or home and away, whatever you want to call it. Very, very nice, very effortless. Look like something you'd wear out on a Saturday night to Santa Panza if you were with the King Collar on a stag do. Very, very nice Maradona model in it here as well. We will have a video coming as well on some of your picks, uh, community picks. And also, we are going to be taking a look at the new V3.5 kits. I know I mentioned that in the intro. We'll leave that for a separate video. Oakland Roots, they play obviously in the second division over in USA. Fantastic kits. These are some of my favorites to use. These are actually my kits I use on my Xbox profile. This fabled Xbox profile that uh, you probably don't even think I have an Xbox. So I'm always talking about it. Very Barcelona-esque, old school-esque style kits here. The away kit from Chavez is insane. Uh, really, really nice as well. These aren't in any particular order, but they are kind of different kits that you might, you guys might not uh, know about. So obviously, Chavez are, def are definitely a team that you might not have like gone in and looked at their kits. Very, very nice as well. Probably one of my picks of them. I'm, I'm a soccer lad for colorful kits. I like plain, plain kits, or I like extremely colorful kits. So I'm kind of no way in. Don't really like the home kit here, but I do like the away kit here as well. This kind of reminds me, was it, I think it was like International, um, their club kit from a few years back. Do I remember Ra Raquelman wearing a kit like this at one stage? Maybe I'm just confused, but Neymar is modeling that. We've got Haaland again in Ascoli Calcio. This is a lovely set of kits as well. You've got home and away. Some teams will have more than one or two kits. They'll have like four, such as the case with Barcelona. But I do like the second kit here as well. I always feel like that if you are going to be having gold and black, or white and black, or white and gold, you need to have the sponsor and the logo quite small, which is nice there. Benfica, obviously, in the Portuguese league, modeled by Mbappe. Imagine if Mbappe actually played for Benfica. That would be wild. But he would probably score about 50 goals a game. But no, I don't disrespect uh, Portuguese, uh, the Portuguese league. Benfica, lovely kits as well. They always have some nice kits. Fairly, fairly simplified but I do like the away kit. We also have Botafogo. These, this is a nice set of kits as well. Kind of plain. Obviously, you've gone back for that white, black, and red combination that a lot of teams have in the Brazilian league um, or in the South American leagues um, and even in the Asian leagues as well. There is a lot of combinations going on that are very you know basic core fundamental colors. We also have Club America. These kits, I remember like going back from Pez days, always had some really nice kits as well, fantastic kits, I do like the, the, the kind of the pale yellow um, that's been modeled here, they've got lovely sponsors, it's small, it's nice, the font is lovely, you don't really, you know, it's there, but you're not, your eyes aren't really like drawn to it too much, the only thing I don't like on the second kit is the, is the logo color, and again, we have another one here, this is a very similar kit style to a couple of kits that were released with this same template, um, but it is nice. Again, you can't go wrong with black and red. And then you've got the crazy kit here as well. This is kind of like the Liverpool kit, if I'm not mistaken. Don't Liverpool have a really weird kit like this, a really kind of mad colored kit like this. Again, I'm just mixing things up. This is kind of a different one. So Kitschke CS, this is what I'm talking about. Some of these kits are a bit like out there that you might not have found before. You might not have seen anybody use them before. I definitely like this kit as well. The second kit is very, very basic. I like the little uh, trim of the pink on the color font at the back as well. It's just a nice little pop from behind there. Um, and the logo, again, it's slightly big, but it's fine. Besiktas always have some nice kits as well. You go back to that, you know, that color trend of that red, white, and black. You can't go wrong with it. A lot of clubs use that. And of course, you've got the second kit, which is the away kit, which has got the nice pattern as well on there. So it's nice from the Adidas one. The new Adidas template, the Adidas logo is huge on it. But that is a nice, slick, simplified kit. Celtic always have a nice kit. Rangers fans wouldn't think so, obviously. But Celtic do always have a nice, slick kit. 
Adidas are doing a good job with their kits as well. And you've got the away kit, which is going to be kind of like, you know, I like a kit as well that has all the same colors throughout. You know, it's the same pattern the whole time. I'm not a big fan of mixed shorts. So I don't really like like white shorts if it's a black top and black socks. I do like the same pattern going throughout. This is from M.A. Ahim, I can't really see the name on this, but this looks like another version of a kit that's very colorful. And then you've got the, the wavy kind of font or template on it as well. Quite nice as well. I will say with the pink boots and the pink hair, Griezmann is rocking it, but pre probably um, going to be something that is more of an acquired taste. You also have Estrella there as well, the Amadora. This is a very unusual kit. A lot of colors going on here. I like this kit and I shouldn't because it goes against kind of what I like in kits. But sometimes you see a pattern and it's like, yeah, it actually works. You know, I can see it with the black and the black or whatever. You also have Bellingham here modeling a Kagoshima. A lot of the kits in these leagues, in the Thai leagues and the Asian leagues, uh, the Japanese leagues and all that, they're really, really nice. They've got some really nice colorways. They've got some really nice uh, slick patterns on them as well. They're not just your plain basic ones. Usually what ruins these kits is the sponsors. So that's why I do like Livingston's here when it's kind of drawn back a little bit. Very small from Joma. Very small uh, logo and sponsor and a small pattern on the back and the bottom. Lovely again. You've got the black shorts. You've got the little faded uh, orange throughout. And you've got a nice pattern on it as well. So again, very simple. Very, very nice. We also have Olymp Olympic Leon. Uh, or Leoness. Leoness? No, it's not. It's just Leon. That's what we know him as. Lovely, lovely kit. This is a kit that I actually might get myself. Um, I always keep an eye on what they're doing. The Emirates is not that big of a logo when you look at it. It kind of works. It just works for some reason. I don't know why. Very, very nice. We're back into the Japanese league then as well with a very colorful number. Again, Griezmann perfectly modeling this with the pink running throughout. Very, very nice. And I do like the away kit as well. I like the collar. I like the little pop of pink throughout the sleeve and throughout the shorts and throughout the collar that you see there as well. So it's a nice kit as well, something a little bit different. And coming up to the last few here, we have 20 in total. Spezia Calcio. Again, they've gone for that white and black, and then they've gone for the black and gold. It's effortless, lads. You cannot go wrong with a kit that is either white and gold, white and black, or black and gold. You just can't go wrong with it, in my opinion. That is how I would design kits if I wanted them here. And then back in, we're just going to round this off here with Bellingham with another Barney the Dinosaur purple you've got there. The pattern on the kit is, is, is quite... It's quite faded, but I do like the second kit a little bit more. So let me know your favorite kits, lads. I will be back with part two of this, and then we're going to have the new national kits that we're going to go into as well. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if you like the idea. Huge shout out to Kara again, my graphic guy. Beastie, beastie, beastie. That's what I call him, the beast, Mr. El Flasho. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.